Hi class, I wanted to welcome you to today's online activity, the uh, paper DNA activity. Um, in this activity, you'll learn about the structure of DNA, how it's a double-stranded structure, and um, how that allows for the DNA to be copied, uh, as well as that information being transferred to mRNA so that protein could be made. Um, so the process of uh, transcription and then translation. Um, hope you enjoyed the lab. Hi class, today we're going to do the um, paper DNA worksheet activity. So you want to get your activity page, um, these here, and then your printed pages of the sense strand, the anti-sense strand, and the mRNA sequence. Okay, you want to get those three here. I have them printed on colored papers. Um, which is described in the worksheet, but we also have versions that are printed or that are with different fonts. So you can print them on white paper and still get the same effect because these strands are different from each other. The sequences are complementary, as you'll see, but they're not the same sequences. Okay, so you need to be able to differentiate them. So what you want to do is first start by cutting your sequences. So I'll demonstrate, and I'll just cut this off completely. So you don't want to worry about getting your sequences, um, trimming off the tails, that's not needed because we'll use those to overlap the sequences. Um, I will um, number them to begin with, okay, the sequences are a series of of um, variables one after the other. Uh, in DNA sequences, there are the four bases and they occur one after the other. So I'm gonna just call this one uh, one, the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that one's ten. So eleven and twenty. Okay, so you have 120 bases total, and let me cut those up. Then you can start pasting these together. Actually, what I'm seeing is I should number up here 1, 10, because as it turns out, we're going to have to cut one of these. So. 11 but it helps with aligning them and that's really the major part okay Coming. okay so here we have the three strands now the top strand lavender is the scent strand the blue strand here is the anti-scent strand, and the yellow strand is the mRNA strand. And um, one of the first questions about DNA is the, the orientation. Um, and I think one way to keep this straight and the standard in the field is to only represent DNA as sequences from five prime to three prime. So the five prime end is always shown first at the left end, and then as you read the letters going to the right, you are reaching the three prime end. So the end that's at the, 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 the right hand terminus is the three prime end. If you always write your sequences that way, then there's no confusion. So all these sequences are in the five prime to three prime orientation. Um, and what that implies, at least for DNA, is complementarity. So let's take the anti-sense strand and to pair it up with the sense strand, what we need to do is actually invert it. And as you'll see, when we line it up, you get sequence complementarity. So for example, in this area, C, C, A, T, 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 on the other strand, if we're reading now three prime, to five prime, it's G G T A A A. So there's complementarity. Every place there's a C on the sense strand, there's a G on the anti sense strand. Every place there's a A on the sense strand, there's a T on the anti sense strand. And 
also for G's and um, T's. So there's always uh, complementarity between the bases. So this is a double-stranded piece of DNA. This is how DNA is found in the body most of the time. Um, the next flow of information then is from DNA to mRNA. And the mRNA sequence, let's, what happens is the DNA separates, the two strands separate. Uh, there are no really strong bonds between the two strands. There are strong bonds connecting the sequences of bases. And the mRNA, then we can see the lines here. So, um, you have your mRNA sequence that is complementary to the template sequence, the bottom sequence. So it's made by copying the bottom sequence, and it's pretty much the sequence of the sense strand, hence the word sense because that's the strand that the information is in the right order on. So that sense strand is pretty much the same as the mRNA strand. You do see all the, um, all the A's, sorry, all the T's are replaced by U's, uracils, in, in the, um, the mRNA. So mRNA sequence is really close and it's a similar molecule to DNA, but uh, it doesn't have uh, thymidine, it has uracil as the corresponding base to A. So what's complementary to A in RNA is um, uracil in DNA, it's uh, thymidine. So this is your mRNA sequence. It starts here with the first codon, AUG, which is a start codon. All proteins, when they synthesize the mRNA, start with a methionine, and it ends with a stop codon, uh, UGA in this case. There are a couple stop codons, and this is one of them.